Alright, this is a review of the Amplify HD that I just picked up. I bought this for myself. I wasn't sent a review unit or anything, so this is my own opinion with my own money. Um, I just needed a new one. My other one wasn't working. It was a Apple... Um, let's see. I can't remember what they call it. This thing. Airport Extreme. This thing worked great. I don't know what's wrong with it. It just um, keeps dropping signal all of a sudden. So this used to be amazing, but it does not work. Um, although even when it was working, I just moved to a new place. It's a little bit bigger and it has some steel in the construction and it didn't work in certain areas of my house at all, even when it was working. So that's interesting. Anyhow, back to this thing. Um, with the little thing here, instant setup, ultimate speed, coverage everywhere, long range, high density, remote access. And uh, this one was $339 in the US, I think. I just got it at uh, Best Buy. And it comes with both of these antennas and this base station here with this little LCD, which I'll show you that in a minute. Um, the packaging is really, really nice. I mean, it should be for over $300, right? I mean, holy crap. Um, it's a little bit crazy. Uh, I actually almost think that the packaging is like too expensive, but yeah. So they give you some examples here of how to do the layout. I actually am only using two. Um, I'll be moving to a newer place here in a little while, and I will let you know how the whole thing works when I move over there. It has this app. Um, and I've used it. It works pretty well. It's nice, simple, easy to use. Um, this is 802AC. And um, so this is the main box here. Um, you can see it's, this, it's really thick cardboard. Um, some nice graphics. And uh, put that there. Um, in here is the uh, USB Type-C. That's pretty cool. I was actually shocked that that came with USB Type-C. Uh, so it comes with a cable for that, and it also comes with a uh, Ethernet cable as well. And uh, I already have the other one set up, and I'll show you that in the wall. Um, this is one of the antennas that it comes with. I'm not using this one because my house is not that big, so I actually don't need it, which is kind of cool. Um, so, and um, this rotates like that, and it also is magnetic, and it will pop off in case um, a kid hits it or something like that, and just boop, right back on there. That gives you the signal strength, and uh, plugs into any outlet. And it was super easy to get going, honestly, like, I plugged this in, I plugged the base station in, and um, I pretty much figured it all out. For me. So let me show you the base station. Okay, so this is the uh, base station. So it's actually not very big, and I believe you can use this just by itself. I have not tried that, um, but it has antennas and stuff in it already. So you don't actually have to do it. You can buy this just by itself and then upgrade to the antennas later. I just got the whole system because they give you a pretty good little discount to get both of them both of the antennas, so um, I think it's probably worth it just to go with the whole package here. Uh, it has this cool little um, thing, you can turn that off, this, this light um, in the app. It's really easy to do. You can turn the screen off if you want to. It's really easy to do, that's kind of cool, so that like, you know, if you're in a place where um, you're trying to sleep or something, then you can have that completely turned off and it won't be bugging you. Um, here's the bottom of it here. Um, cool little LED light on the back there. And it has four hardwire positions if you want. That blue one is for your internet connection and then there is the USB Type-C. Uh, like I said, I think that's really cool that they had USB Type-C built into it there. Uh, so this is the speed. Uh, right now nobody's using anything, but it will tick up and down as people use the internet, so that's kind of nifty. Um, it tells you the port status, 
it has a date one. It has how many you've used since January 1 to now gigabytes. Then back to the speed there. Uh, there was one screen that had an IP address on it. I don't want to show you that one, uh, but there is a screen that the IP address is on. So I think that's really neat. I actually use this a lot. It, there was something that was uh, pulling the internet that I did not want it to, and so I was able to go turn that off. So that was kind of a cool little use of the screen there that would be kind of hard to actually detect otherwise unless you were monitoring it with like Wireshark or something. So, yeah. All right, let me uh, show you one of the uh, plugged in antennas. Okay, so this is one of the antennas actually plugged into the wall outlet here. You can see that it leaves the one open and then um, sits nicely there. It mostly blends in. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but um, I don't know. I think it's fine. It doesn't really bother me. It has these nice little LED indicators here to tell you that uh, you have full signal or not full signal to the base station. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, you can you can move this around however you want. Um, so if that needs to be moved, I like it. I think it's cool. Um, some of the other ones, the Google one, and I think the other Linksys one, they want you to kind of like set it on a table or something. I actually really like that this just plugs into the wall because it kind of gets it out of the way. So that's a, that's a plus for me. Um, and then this um, sits on our main floor and then I have the base station upstairs uh, covering the upstairs. And um, yeah, I get 100% uh, coverage uh, in both my upstairs and my downstairs and I get it on my porch outside here. Um, you, can, you can see just out there is like the outdoor and so it works out there just fine. Um, and yeah, so I only have a 150 megabit connection, but I get that full 150 megabit everywhere in the house. So um, I would say it's uh, more than enough for me. I really like the mesh. It was easy to set up. It was, um, like I said, two or three screens in the app and um, the app can do port forwarding and uh, it gives you a little rundown of what service is using what thing. Um, I really like that. It's really nicely designed. Um, and yeah, let me go actually show you that. All right, so let's take a look at the app. Uh, I have it right here at the top. And yes, I know I have a lot of emails. Um, so, uh, you can see it by default already knows about both of the antennas. So like I said, I'm not using one of them. So uh, that's why that is not showing up there. Um, but it says right here on the dashboard, everything is great. I really like that. It's very clean, lets you know what's happening. It tells you that there are nine things connected. Nobody is pulling any data right now. The download, the upload, you can see. So that's pretty neat. Uh, this performance, this doesn't monitor all the time, but when you're in it, you can kind of watch it. So uh, that's an easy way to tell if something's being a bad actor on your network. I think that's pretty freaking sweet. Um, this throughput here is the same thing that kind of showed on the screen that I showed you before, actually on the base station, so that's neat. Um, they have an IP test here, um, sorry, ISP test here. Uh, that's their own thing that's different than the, you know, fast.com from Netflix or um, the other one that everybody else uses, speed test, if you just type it into Google. Um, so it's kind of neat that they're doing their own thing with that. Uh, I think that's cool. Uh, this guest is neat. You can actually set up a little uh, network just for an hour, a couple hours, and then share that with everybody. Or you can have it always on. I think that's really neat. And then you can have uh, a specific number of guests. So my airport from Apple didn't have any of that. Um, this section here, I'm not sure whether they really call it family. I guess it makes sense. But uh, this shows you all the clients that are connected to it. And um, if you swipe on it like that, you can give it a quality of service. So you can have it, everything's default normal or it's a streaming device, or it's a gaming device. So that's pretty neat. Uh, that'll allow you to have better performance 
with uh, multiple things connected. Uh, the top here is pause all internet on all devices. That's a cool feature. You know, if you, for some reason, want all the bandwidth just going to one thing, um, you know, you're trying to download a lot or upload a lot or something like that, that's neat. Uh, it gives you a real-time readout of who's using what here. You can see that, you know, like 35 kilobits a second. Um, so I think that's awesome. Uh, this... Uh, and then if you click on one of these, it will actually give you some more information about like how good the signal is there, whether or not you want the LED turned on, the volume, um, you know, pretty cool. And then if you click on the main one, uh, that's where you can turn that LED light on or off, night mode, which just turns it on and off for you by default. Uh, you can do port forwarding, so that's available here, automatically does updates. Uh, this is where your wireless settings are, so you can do password, security, uh, guest network, and uh, all that stuff. So it has all the standard features that everything else uh, comes with for the most part, but it's very easy to set up and, uh, and work with, and this app is really, really nice. So uh, they have a way that you can hook it up to Facebook or Google, and then you can remotely connect to it. Uh, I think that's a really awesome feature. Uh, I don't like them knowing about that, so I didn't set that up for mine. Um, but the layout of this is awesome. It's very easy to use. Definitely recommend it. Uh, anybody could do it. You just plug it in. It's pretty much going to do everything for you. Um, and uh, it has some new features that my airport didn't have, so uh, I think it's actually better than the Apple one. Uh, but Apple kind of gave up. They haven't released a new version or done any updates to that for a while. I think they're done making Wi-Fi devices, so I uh, needed something something different. Um, overall, I think that it's very expensive. 339 is really, really expensive. Um, but I would say it's pretty friggin' great. I mean, I can't really complain. It was easy to set up. It looks nice. Um, the app is really well done, so... You know, the only thing I can really knock them for is it's very expensive. Um, but, you know, you get what you pay for a little bit. They don't track you. You know, that's one thing about the Google uh, Mesh Network system is that, like, part of the reason that that's cheap is because they're actually mining your data. So, I mean, that's something to consider. I think that's important. I don't like that at all. Um, I want my... I want a choice, basically, of if they're going to be able to do that or not. So, I don't think that's cool. And then um, I do think the Linksys mesh looks pretty nice. I'm not sure if they track you, honestly. Um, I don't know. I've heard good things about that. Uh, but I like these guys, this Ubiquiti, because they are a uh, they make big corporate systems. So, you know, I just feel like they kind of know what they're doing. Um, they have a good lot of tech here. So one thing to note is that um, they do actually have a, another... Um, a new version that they just uh, came out with that's called the Gamer Edition. And I think it's basically the same, except for the antenna design is a little bit different. And then they have a more advanced quality of service. Um, it is another 60 bucks on top of this, so it's almost $400 if you want that system. I'm sure it's just as good and awesome. Um, if you need that fine control of, over your quality of service, then it might be worth it, but if you don't even know what that is, then pick this one up or wait for this one to go on sale because this is everything that you need. Uh, I don't think that it's, you know, really blow you out of the water, that extra money or that quality of service, unless you're like a pro gamer and you really understand what that's doing for you. Otherwise, I think this system is more than enough. So yeah, I don't know, pretty high score. I know if I were to give it a score out of 10 or something, it's probably like a, I don't know, like a nine point, 9.1, no, just like a 9. I, I'm really just knocking it because of the price. It's very expensive.